Hello, I'm Mike McLaughlin, an artist here at Timefire VR. In this video, I'm going to be expanding on my previous tutorial by using a Fresnel node as a mask to fake translucence in the Unreal Engine 4 Material Editor. For this lamp, I actually created two emissive textures to be blended together in the material. The first is the base emissive texture I used to simulate general received light by the lampshade. We will be ignoring this texture. The second emissive is what we'll be using to fake a light source at the center of our geometry. Like in the last video, it is again important to make sure that the emissive color ramps from its highest value all the way down to black before it reaches the edges of the UV island. If it doesn't, you will get bad results. In addition, because we want the light to ramp all the way around the lampshade, we will need the emissive to span the entire 0 to 1 space of the UV horizontally. If it doesn't, once the bump offset is applied, you will see the remainder of the map as being a non-emissive bar where the two sides of the mapped texture are supposed to meet. That's because, unlike in the last video, the lampshade isn't made of six independent sides, but is instead one continuous loop. This also adds a complication to our bump offset technique which we will need a few extra nodes to resolve. After creating this emissive texture in Substance Painter, I had to manipulate it further in Krita to make sure the ramp extended horizontally across the UV space. I also removed the color at the top for the light bulb as we don't want that showing up once the emissive is parallax mapped. Now that we're back in Unreal, you can see that I have already applied the texture samples to the emissive channel of the material and we're ready to start hooking up nodes. As before, we are going to use the bump offset to make it look like there is actual light shining through the lampshade from the light bulb on the other side. In this case, I found 0.6 worked best for the height ratio. Now we can see it's working as expected, but it doesn't quite look right. The intensity of the light should be fading out as it approaches the edges of the geometry. This is why we will use the Fresnel node. The Fresnel effect is the observation that reflections and refractions become more or less pronounced based on how acute your angle of viewing is. Basically, it means that viewing something straight on will give us the least pronounced reflections, while viewing the same surface at a more glancing angle will make those reflections more visible. The Fresnel gives us a black to white gradient based on the equations behind this principle. By right-clicking in the grid and searching for Fresnel, we can create a Fresnel node. Now by right-clicking the node and selecting Start Previewing node, we can see what it is doing. If we now attach this node to the alpha of the LERP, we see it's not giving us the outcome we're looking for. Also, now would be a good time to set up the parameters for the Fresnel to achieve a more desired falloff. I'll spare you the trial and error I went through and just input the values I came up with. 0.65 in the exponent and 0 0.00001 in the base reflect fraction. To get the effect we want, we will want our Fresnel to be white in the center and fade out to black at the edges, the opposite of what we have now. This proved more difficult than I had expected and though the solution I came up with isn't perfect, it works well enough for what we're trying to do. I've added a subtract node with a value of one. You can also use a one minus node the results appear to be the same. This unfortunately still doesn't give us what we're looking for, and I'm going to be honest, from this point forward, I don't know why what I did works, but it does. For our final node, we will search for a power node, and we can see by previewing it, that we are now much closer to the kind of mask we're looking for.
When we adjust the power node's constant exponent field, we can see it creates the mask we wanted all along. Now, hooking this output into the lerp alpha, we have the effect we want. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or ideas for what you'd like to see in the future, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one from the Timefire VR team.